Hello everyone, and welcome back to Revit Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. Let's see today how to fix a few common problems that you will have with railing on Revit stairs. I have here this example staircase where you have a few problems, such as this weird transition here, not smooth at all, or this railing segment that seems to go straight even though we are hosting it on this stair. That's totally wrong. Also, when this railing transition to the same railing type on the floor, you can see there the height of these two segments are not the same at this transition point. So we have to fix this as well. Similarly, if I go to the landing on the next level, you will see that this rolling from the bottom level and this one from the top level coming down, they are not meeting at the same height. So there's an ugly gap there that we also have to fix. Not to worry, I will show you how to fix all of these problems today so you can be a lot more confident the next time you draw railings on Revit stairs. By the way, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe now because we do tutorials like this every single week. Alright, let's begin. The first issue I want to fix is here. On the stair landing, this railing has a very weird transition between the top and the bottom segment. Depending on your design, this can be overly complicated or overly simplified. For me, I just want this transition here to be as simple as this one, so a smooth meter transition without any extra segments on my railing. To do this, let's go to Edit Type. So now we are in the Type Properties editor of this railing here. I can now see that is not using any rail, because if I go to Edit Rail there, nothing here shows up. That means the element you're seeing now is actually the top rail of this rolling element. The top rail is defined here, and I can clearly see now it is using this top rail type called, well, top rail type. I can now click on this button here to edit this type. And now in terms of transitions, I can see now the type being selected here is Gooseneck. This is why it's doing more segments that I need at this transition point. To make it simpler, I can go to here and either choose None or Simple. Let's go with None, see how it looks like. If I apply this, you will see now the None option doesn't add any additional segments. So our rail now looks even worse. It's not even continuous like before. There's a big gap there, so None isn't good in this case. In my experience, you usually need to go for simple. It's good if Revit does a good job with doing the gooseneck connection, but if that's not the case, as we had there before, you need to choose simple instead of gooseneck. Apply this now, and I can see, at least now it's giving me a lower number of segments. Let's do OK, that's the best we can do in this window. Next step, I want to make sure that this gap here can be resolved. If I now see this rolling from this side, you can see even their center lines are not aligned. The center line of this segment up there isn't in the same alignment with the center line of this lower segment. Let's see it from this side as well. And maybe I can isolate the element to see it clearer. So it looks like this segment here is a problem. Ideally, I don't want it to be there. I want this segment to go down to the same level as of this horizontal one and there I want to have a simple transition just like the one I have here. To do that, it's really simple. We are having this problem because the sketch of this railing doesn't have enough length for this upper segment to go down to the same height as of this lower one. To give it the extra length, I can now do edit path. It seems to have disappeared, but worry not if I go to the top view now. That's a sketch of the railing there. So I know that will be the sketch line of the upper segment, and this will be that of the lower one. To give this segment the extra length to go down to the same level as of this one here, I need to move this line further into the landing. Now, you may ask me how much should I move it? Let's reset the view to find out. Usually, from my experience, you need to move this segment here roughly the same depth of one stair step. So in this case, let's move it from this reference line to here. Let's now do finish and see what happens. It's slightly better now because now we have successfully deleted that vertical segment from before. However, I seem to have moved this one a bit too much because now if I see this one from this right hand side, 
and also isolate it and change the view to wireframe you can see there that the upper segment has successfully come down to the same level that this lower segment is on but the sketch line that I moved we now need to move it back to align this circular profile with this other one here on this right now you can work out how much to move it back in different ways you can make a section for example if I go to level 1 now and just make a quick section across here we may have to flip it as well to see the transition on this side right there so again go to the view there we go we have now this section where I can now measure the distance that I have to move this segment this way that seems to be 30 millimeters let's do that now if I go back to 3d go to edit path get the segments there and simply move it this way by 30 millimeters the same measurement I got from before I can now press finish and check it out that is now a perfectly seamlessly continuous rolling just like we want it so to recap on that fix there you need to give this upper rolling segment a bit more length so it can go down to the same level that we have this lower segment and then you may have to play around with the position of this shorter rolling sketch segments there to make sure there's no gap between this smaller segment and the upper one to work out how much to move it you might have to make additional sections at least this rolling here is a multi-story one so once we have fixed it here it's correct here as well and also here and of course on any other level you have this there coming to and from so that fix number one moving on let's see how we can fix this horizontal straight railing line this is usually because we don't have the railing hosted on the stair but in this case I know it's hosted firstly because I know that this other half of the railing is following this stair without any problem also if I want to make sure I can go select the railing like that click on pick new host and then select the stair that doesn't fix the problem so I know I have to go elsewhere the next thing to check is to make sure that the sketch line of your railing is actually on this stair let's double check that now let's go to the top view and do edit path in this view it has become clear to me now that the rolling works here and here because the sketch lines they actually lie on top of this stair over here however this line is just slightly outside of this stair and that's why it didn't work to fix this we simply have to move this line maybe this way to ensure that it's sitting entirely on this stair if I now click on finish here we go this railing is now following this stair nicely and accurately so that's problem number two all resolved for you next let's look at problem number three let's go to section two now I can see it's showing only half of my stair let's see the entire stair geometry I can go to level one and maybe move this section line to here here we go the next problem is with this transition right there ideally we want this railing segment to meet this one and continue across all the levels to fix this we need to follow the similar principle that we used while fixing this transition here on the landing from before and that is to give these two railing sections extra lengths so they can meet each other let's do it now when I go back to 3d we can now edit the sketch of this stair right there similar from before my experience telling me that I need to extend this line by an amount equals to the depth of one step so I will just draw a circle here so I know that's the same length on both sides and then extend this line this way as well as this one to here once done with this I can now delete my circles and do finish let's see section 2 again and that seems to have done it if I now check again in 3d you can see now they have now ended up at the same level at this point and this point don't believe me let's go to this view here and there you have them 
we now only need an extra horizontal segment there to connect them. Now, this may be a hit and miss with multi-story stair, but let's try it anyway. I can now go back to the top view, edit path, and draw another section going from here to here. Click finish. Now in this case, it works quite well because now my multi-story dwelling is still following my multi-story stair nicely. Of course, something is still missing here because here we haven't got that transition that we need. This is actually unavoidable because this railing here, it just cannot end where this starts. So if this is important to you, you may have to create in here something like an in-place component to fill in this gap. Even though from past experience, you know, on big projects, this can be easily resolved with some detailed drawing to say, this is how the transition should be done. And the builder shouldn't rely entirely on the model because as we know, Revit has limitations. So for now, that's issue number three almost fully resolved. Moving on, let's look at problem number four. And that has to do with not entirely relevant to railing, but it's here now, so let's fix it anyway. As you can see there, this floor is on level two. This stair here also starts from that same level, but we have a gap here that we have to fill. It's actually a lot easier to fix this problem compared to the last three. So let's do it quickly. I can now go to edit stair. Of course, it's a multi-story one, so now we have been reverted back to this original section on the ground floor. We can now fill in this gap by simply selecting this stair on there and checking its properties. There's a parameter in here specifically for fixing this problem. If I now extend this slightly, you can see its full name. The name is Extend Below Riser Base. So let's say this floor here is 150 mil thick. I can now use the same value here just with a minus sign. So it's gonna go down from the level, not up. Apply this, and that has been fixed. I can now simply do finish. And nicely enough, Revit has applied the same fix now to all of the upper levels, because here we have this multi-story stair. So everything we have done will be repeated across the whole stairwell. So that's how you fix the four most common problems that you may get with rolling on the stairs. If you enjoy this lesson and want some more like this coming every single week, make sure to subscribe to this channel. For now, let me know in the comments below if you encountered any different stair or rolling on stair problem and I can look at showing you how to fix them in the next tutorials. Other than that, have a good day and I'll see you in the next lesson.